Hello gamers, we're back. This is the Meat Geek speaking, owner of official VGO videos representing AspenNetwork.com. Uh, this is the Video Gamers Oasis uh, Center on YouTube where I get to share my passion for video games of all kinds, mostly adventure and RPG and arcade style. And um, I'm going to I'm continue my gameplay of Five Days a Stranger. If you're just tuning in for the first time, I suggest you watch the older videos that I've done of this one. <coughs> it's an adventure game, a scary adventure game for a haunted house story. And Defoe, the um, he is gentleman, uh, oh, has already met some people in the haunted house, and he's going to find some more people so they can have a meeting and um, perhaps get to the bottom of why they can't, they can't escape yet or they find a way to escape this haunted house and find the mystery of what's going on behind it. So let's load where we continue on. Swimming pool. And let's push the, do the chair, uh, the tree. Hey! There was a voice that said, "Hey, this is where I found out on the on the internet." So I finally figured out what to do. So let's try this. Talk to the tree. Is there someone up in the tree? There he is. Oh hi, you're new. Have you come to set us? Oh, apparently I'm a prisoner too. I'm guessing you must be Jim. What were you doing in the tree? Well, I thought I might be able to get over the wall. But the tree's too far. And there's the ravine just outside the wall, too. So I understand, yes. Philip wants us to all meet up in the lounge. Oh, okay. I'm the head there. I'm head there all right now. Wish I could follow you. Okay, so let's go. Save progress. Swimming pool. Okay. Let's get in there. Let's get in through the door. And examine that painting again. It's too big to carry around. What does it say? It's a pleasantly professional quality portrait of a bearded man in a Victorian explorer's outfit. A little plaque at the bottom reads, Sir Roderick Defoe. Let's move on. Okay, where else can I go? Maybe I can go to the lounge now. Here we are, finally. Ah, our new arrival has erased us with his presence. I expect there's a lot you want to know. Join the club. So let me see if I got this clear in my head. You're all trapped in this house by some invisible intelligence. Right. And you can't leave. Nope. And as soon as I entered, I became tracked too. Pretty much. Why? Why would anyone want to keep us You've prisoner got here? That was my email. To us, maybe they're just lonely. No, if they had wanted to come... One company they to have shown themselves. Maybe they have. Maybe one of us is behind all of this. Oh, don't be silly. Why would any of us want to trap a load of people here and pretend we didn't? Don't know, oh, do I? Don't I don't speak, Looney. We must have squabble against this ourselves. Hampered by paranoia and suspicion, we'd only hinder each other. I suggest we assume for now that we four are in it all innocent. I agree with that. Hmm. All we five, including AJ. Where is he anyway? I couldn't find him anywhere. I saw him just after I arrived, but he ran away from me. That's odd. Listen, Mr. Trilby. We work as a team in this house. That's how it's been since it started. So we all have to share information. No secrets. So why did you come to this house? He's a cat burger. Why do you even have to ask? 
Well, I didn't come here to take part in some bizarre Big Brother event, that's for sure. Is there anything you know about this house that would help? Anything at all? I doubt I know much more than any of you. All I know is that, that the last heir just died and is supposed to be empty. Hmm. Well, I guess there's not much of a help then. But I suppose an extra pair of hands is always how useful. I'm still not completely clear in a few details. Do I get to ask you all now some Just questions? Just ask any or whatever you like. Okay, let's get to the questions. Okay, talk. Let's talk to the girl. Miss Taylor? Yes? Uh, what do you know about the mansion? What do you know about the mansion? Well, I've heard some pretty disturbing stories about it. Here we go. There have been stories of weird happening around for decades. Ever since the first disappearance of the original owner and his son. People have gone missing in the area around the house more than anywhere else in the country. People from all walks of life. People like us? Er... How did you come to be here? I only came down here for a docu documentary. I've seen a lot of interest in old ghost stories lately. We figured something in the Defoe Manor would pull in the ra ratings. And not because it would make interesting viewing? This is why I hate television. Excuse me, I was talking. I arrived here before the camera crew. I was supposed to wait for them. But I couldn't resist just t taking a walk around the grounds. Next thing I knew, I was in the backyard, looking all over, but I couldn't find a way back out to the front. It was my fault, really. Yes, it was. What happened to your camera crew? I have no... They probably left when I never showed up. I'm sort of glad they didn't get mixed up in this, too. Quite. Tell me a bit about yourself. I that's all sweet of you to ask. We're in for it now. I'm a correspondent for the BBC, but you probably already know that. I'm afraid I don't watch much television. Oh, I do go outside broadcast for the news mainly. Sometimes I present documentaries or various shows, variety shows, whenever I am needed, really. Very much of a Jill of all trades. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. Talk to the Mr. Fonzie here. Mr. Hardy. Yes, Mr. Chilby. Tell me a bit about yourself. About me? Well, I'm what you, I'm what you call the import business. You're a thief. I'm not a thief. I'm a treasure hunter. I only take what belongs to dead people. Since they're not using it, you know. Our new friend here, he's a thief. True, but also a gentleman. And I only take what I'm sure no one is using, too. I'm sure that's a great comfort to them. How did you come to be here? Well, I came here looking for some artifacts. And I'm sure you had the full consent of the Defoe's solicitors to do so. Shut up. I'm just heard of some old family tombs somewhere around under the building. I mean, really old. Anything that's probably doesn't belong to anywhere else, so finders keepers. I managed to call a few favors to go over the ravine, and of course I couldn't get out again. How many people you know you're here? A handful, I suppose. Uh, they wouldn't get suspicious until I go missing for a few months, you know. Hmm. What do you know about the mansion? Plenty. I read an article this month's Treasure Hunting Monthly. It was built for some explorer guy, Sir Roger Defoe, or something like that. His wife died giving birth, and he and his son were mi missing some time later. Well, maybe the article could tell you better than I could. I'll let you borrow it. 
Thanks. Just don't mess it too much. It's for my scrap good. That's all I wanted to know. Right oh. Let's save our progress. Lodge meeting. Okay. Now let's see what else I can do. Look at look. What does it say? It's an article cut out from a magazine called Treasure Hunting Monthly. Mystery of Defoe Manor. Defoe Manor, one of the country's more notorious stately homes, is renowned for being a great source of untold wealth. But what is the curse that surrounds the creaking house? The mansion was built in the early 19th century, but the legendary explorer Roderick Defoe, in celebration of his retirement and marriage, Sir Roderick disappeared along with his only son, on the 15th year anniversary of his wife's sudden death. After that, the house fell into the possession of a suspicion of hares, most of whom had died or disappeared in mysterious circumstances. The house was left abandoned after the lost heir or was thought to have died in 1946 until the recent appearance of Clarence Defoe, who managed to prove his connection to the li lineage and inherit the house. Okay. Let's save progress. Lodge meeting. Okay, let's talk to this gentleman. Jim can't be older than 16, and he's wearing some mutation of a school uniform. So, Jim. Yes? Tell me a bit about yourself. Like what? I don't know where you were before you came here. I was at the Tunian boarding school, not far from here been here since I was 10. My parents moved around a lot, you see. How old are you now? Nearly 16. How did you come to be here? It was so stupid. We climbed over the school wall at lunchtime. Why? It was a dare. We were going to see how long it would take to take the school to find us. Then we came across the old house and Richard dared me to knock on the door. He bet me a pound wouldn't do it. My school was like that. Broke my collarbone playing pile on. Shut up, Philip. What happened next? Well, I was about to knock on the door, but it opened by itself. I heard Richard dare me to take a step inside. So you did, and the door closed behind you, and it wouldn't open again. Yeah. Hmm. Your friends didn't call the police or anything? How should I know? I guess they didn't come since nobody came. That was on Wednesday. The school probably knew I, I go, I'm gone, how? I see. What do you know about the mansion? Not much. We could always just about see the roof over the playground wall. We all used to, to tell each other it was haunted. Why? Were there any stories or legends attached? Well, a friend of mine used to say a crazy hermit lived there who killed people and ate them alive. Oh well, I, I'm, I'm certainly reassured. That's all I wanted to know. Anyone else see the pattern in all these stories? Which pattern would that be? Seems to me the house only traps people individually. It didn't try to trap uh, Jim's friends or Simone's camera crew. It only was letting us one at a time. You're talking about the house like it's intelligent? Surely it's more like, like there's just some joker behind all this. Maybe. But how did they know we were coming? How did it know to leave a window open for me, risking one of you finding it? You think the house is haunted? I wouldn't use that word, but I definitely have a very odd feeling. Like we're being watched, I suppose. Yeah. Maybe this is one of Simone's rating winners. Excuse me? Well, looking at some people now, well, secretly filming them, sounds like a ma natural reality TV progression. It's also highly illegal. Wouldn't stop some people. Where the hell was AJ got to anyway? I was hoping he'd be here. 
He's been doing some research on the house. He was going to share it with us tonight. Maybe someone should go look for him. What now? It's getting pretty late. I admit it. I am beginning to feel tired. Yeah, me too. But what about AJ? I don't think there's any need to worry now. I f if he still hasn't turned up by morning, he will, then we'll have to look for him. Oh, all right. But we look for him as soon as we get help. Day two. What was that noise? Oh, Jesus. No. Simone? Philip? Jim? Oh, God. Who did this? What the? You did this. Stay back. I'm warning you. Who are you? <gasps> Christ, I never had a dream so visually vividly before. It was so disturbing. Oh my god. That was scary. Hope you uh, guys didn't poop your pants. Alright, let's save our progress here. Night. Okay, gamers. Take a break now. On that note, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay of uh, day one of Five Days a Stranger. If you enjoyed the gameplay of this uh, most interesting uh, point-and-click adventure game set in the haunted house, uh, please leave your comments below, like it, add it to your favorites, leave comments, uh, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, all the social, me social media web websites that you use on a daily basis. And um, tune in next time when I play again um, soon. Make sure you let me know if you want me to continue the adventure. And um, subscribe to official video videos. And the Meat Geek signing out. Till later. Uh, uh, uh. Um, do me some favors. Check out some links um, if you have the time. Um, if you want to become a, a member of Asifin Network, sign up and earn now. Go to www.asifinnetwork.com slash a slash apply dot php question mark aff equals video gamers oasis one word and uh, just click the link below for that one and download your personal copy of the official video videos YouTube shoutout list www.videogamersoasis.com slash YouTube underscore shout dash outs Subscribe and let me know if you want a channel shout out in my next video. You can also be listed on the channel shout out list that is given out every week. Uh, bookmark my website, Video Gamers Oasis, for the best games at great prices. Um, have them delivered to your house. Also, check out my my video game blog, the Meek uh, Geek Video Game Blog, www.videogamersoasis.com slash blog. You'll see a lot of my favorite uh, gameplay videos as well as some interesting articles that will tickle your fancy. Uh, check out the Gamer Forum, www.videogamersoasis.com slash gamer forum. Uh, Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter, VGO underscore tweets. Like my Facebook fan page, uh, Video Gamers Oasis. Look me up on Tumblr, uh, videogamersoasis.tumblr.com. Uh, also, you can follow me on Pinterest. That's www.pinterest.com slash TheMeekGeek. I'm The Meek Geek. Thanks for watching. And you're watching official VGO videos.